Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to pass ID like this in React.js and also I am going to get this ID in the console. Yeah, let's start. Here I am going to use this React Router DOM. It is used to create a routing in our project. Okay, yeah, copy this and go to your React project and install it in terminal. In my case, I already installed and also I am running this project. Here I am to use this home.js file and this page 1 component and this page 2 component. Okay, here I am to create a routing. Here, sorry, here I am to use browser route. Yeah, this is imported here. After that, I am to use routes. Inside routes, I am to use route. Here, I'm going to close this. Here, I'm going to specify the path. Initially, it is initially I'm going to render this component. Okay, copy this and paste it here. And also, I'm going to import that component here. Yeah, initially, when page render, I'm going to display this component. I'm going to duplicate this for one more time. This is I'm going to copy this page 2 and here this is here I'm going to specify path about okay this is about here I'm going to paste that component and also I'm going to import that component okay it is important here now routing is completed now I'm going to browser here I'm going to remove this everything yeah here I got page 1 I mean this component okay and yeah here I'm going to change this path to about click enter here we got page 2 okay this component so I'm going to pass value when about component is call okay so I'm going to create a button after this this is page 2 here I am going to create a on click sorry this is handle click I'm going to copy this here I am to create a const this that function before that I am to create navigate I mean here I am going to use use navigate Yeah, it is used to navigate to next screen. I mean, wherever you want the project. I'm going to copy this inside this on click function. I'm going to specify the path where we need to navigate. Here we are going to navigate to about screen. I mean, this path. Okay. So, I'm going to paste that. After that, I'm going to pass the ID. So, I'm going to use this search key. Here, I'm going to pass key value. So, here, I'm going to create search params. It is used to pass ID in the URL. Okay, here, I'm going to send the data demo or something database. Okay, here, I pass this value. Here, I'm going to use two string. Yeah, save this into browser here. I'm going to the home screen. Here we got page 2 button. If I click this button, yeah, we're passing ID in the URL. Here I'm going to change this database to number. You can pass any value here. Okay, you can pass dynamically in the URL. Here I'm going to save this again. I'm going to home screen. Here I'm going to click this. Yeah, here we got ID 1. I'm going to get this id1 in the console okay so i'm going to component 2 i mean page 2 component here i'm going to use use search params it is also a react router inbuilt function it is used to get the value i mean id okay so here i'm going to initialize like state okay this is val 
where assign like this means it is used to get the value and in future it will update the existing value okay that's why i initialized like this okay so here i'm going to copy this val and after this i'm going to console this and paste that val here as i save this going here here i'm going back to home screen then i'm going to click this page 2 here we got console i mean here console is printed here size is 1 i mean which means we sent one parameter here i'm going to get this value so i'm going to use this get i'm going to get which one this id okay so here i'm paste inside this get here i'm going to refresh the screen yeah here we got one i mean this id is printed in the console log here i'm going to change this one to demo and save this i'm going to home screen here i'm going to click this here id is changed yeah here console is also printed if i change this demo to something number if i click enter here 44 is printed yeah sorry you can pass anything in this id yeah that's it for this video i think this video will help you bye bye